So this conference is a pretty uh, unique and uh, unprecedented event, and uh, it's, a, it's my great pleasure to introduce uh, the president and founder of the uh, three societies that are coming here today, uh, the uh, president of the Society for Integrative Oncology, Dr. Susie Zick, uh, the president of the Society for Acupuncture Research, Dr. Patani Napadao, and the founder of the Fascia Research Society, Dr. Tom Finley. Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, it makes my heart feel wonderful to see all your smiling faces up there. And as she said, I'm uh, Susie Zick, the outgoing president of the Society for Integrative Oncology. And I just want to say that one of our society's strategic goals is actually to be a partner with both national and international societies and other scientific bodies. And so over the number of years, um, when we have had our conferences, we've tried a lot of different models to actually partner. We have had plenaries from other societies come in for us, and we've gone to their society meetings and had plenaries. We've just gone and given talks at various other societies. But this is the first day where we've been actually, I think, able to fully realize our strategic goal by having this joint day with three different societies and interlacing all of our different ideas. And so I'm very, very excited to see how this all comes together and to really have our minds come together in this strategic goal, not just for us, but as a scientific community, how can we think together and bring forward better science to help people with cancer, in our case, but other illnesses as well. And so I'm, I'm very, very pleased to be able to see this occur. I, I will be brief. Um, the Society for Acupuncture Research uh, has been around since the 1990s. And this is really, I, I will echo Helen, that this is really an un unprecedented event for us as well. Uh, to be able to plan this uh, joint day took a lot of work on a lot of people's uh, parts. And it's very exciting to be a part of it. The theme of our conference, uh, which was happening over the last few days, was reaching across disciplines to broaden the acupuncture research network. And I think we have really succeeded in doing that. And the proof is here in this room. So it's, it's very exciting to have another day of planned activities that are, is going to be interesting for all three societies. And I welcome you all here. Thank you. I stood here eight years ago in this very auditorium for the first International Fascia Research Congress. And at that point, uh, it was bringing together scientists and clinicians on the area of fascia. And little did we know that we started something that eventually turned into the Fascia Research Society. And we've had the second, the third, and the fourth International Fascia Research Congress. But only recently have we really looked at the whole area of fascia and cancer. So eight years ago, we had a very heated discussion in this very auditorium. <laughs> <laughs> and it ended abruptly with a, uh, <laughs> a fire alarm. So uh, hopefully there will be a heated discussion and interaction that won't quite set off sparks. But um, the sparks will go flying. So I want to s extend a hearty welcome to all of you clinicians and scientists alike and in the process of mingling these three societies, uh, a lot of ideas have come up. Uh, please listen not only to the lectures, but also to the posters. There's been some very interesting things that have come, come forward. There's a poster on fascial in the translation of ancient Chinese texts. Uh, it's, it's unbelievable the number of things that you will uncover as you start to ask those questions. Uh, the fascial system is one of the largest systems in the whole body. And so we'll explain some of that as we go along. Um, 
additional information is at the FASA Research Society table up on the, the second floor from our previous conferences. And I have to say, I don't understand all the information that's there, but at least I have the books to refer to, and you could do the same thing. So again, thank you all very much, and welcome to Harvard Medical School. Thank you very much to um, our Tom and Vitali and Susie. And I also want to extend a warm thanks to all of our sponsors. Uh, you will be able to see their uh, logos and names at the back of your program. I hope, by the way, you all have a program. And uh, we, well, I'm going to be referring to uh, this, this diagram, which is on your program. And one of the reasons this, this conference is also a little bit uh, special is that uh, we, there's a concept behind it. And I'm going to be explaining this concept to you a little bit now. Uh, don't worry about if it looks complex now. Hopefully by the end of the day, it will all make sense. Uh, each speaker has a place in this whole concept. And, 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 and every, you're, you're just going to see how this whole thing is going to build. So I'm just going to give you a little bit of an overview uh, right now as to how the day is going to go. So. Um, Basically, what this works is we're going, to, we're going to look at this sort of whole uh, matrix in two directions. The first, mor the morning, is going to look at the uh, clinical management of patients who have cancer and to help for, uh, on how integrative therapies and focusing specifically also on body-based treatments, including exercise, uh, uh, body work, movement therapies, and even acupuncture, uh, and considered as a body-based treatment, of course, uh, have and are used in the in the management of patients to help with cancer to help them cope with the very very difficult course that of of treatments that they need to undertake in order to eradicate the cancer, which really affects their uh, person at every conceivable level of their being. And so uh, integrative treatment of cancer is, 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 a, is a, such an important thing, perhaps more importantly in cancer than I would say in any other illness. So we're going to be hearing uh, about this uh, from a clinical standpoint. And then to the, uh, the, towards the end of the morning, we're going to switch gears just a little bit. And we're going to start the top part of the arrow. And we're going to first go a little bit more into the basic science of cancer. And how we're going to get there is we're going to start talking about fascia and connective tissue as a special fulcrum in the body that we're going to focus on today as being one of the three legs of the stool that we're going to look at. And we're going to talk about how a lot of these body-based therapies that we were that I was talking to earlier, uh, talking about earlier, uh, have an effect on fascia, and how the mechanical effects of these treatments can have important uh, uh, consequences uh, within the connective tissues for things like, for example, inflammation and fibrosis. And these are things that have a very important relevance to cancer. So we're all, then we're going to start uh, in the afternoon talking about the lymphatic system, which is, of course, an extremely important part of, of, of the body that actually sits in, within connective tissue. Connective tissue actually houses the lymphatics, so it's very, uh, very relevant to, to, to connective tissue and fascia. And uh, we're going to talk about the effects of the, the manual therapies on the lymphatic system and also how the lymphatic system is so relevant to the biology of cancer. Throughout the whole afternoon, a very important theme that we're going to talk about is the extracellular matrix or the, 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 uh, the structure, the architecture, the biomechanical composition and, and characteristics of the extracellular matrix, how stiff it is, and how it responds to mechanical forces. We know a lot about this from a basic science point of view. We know that the extracellular matrix is extremely important for cancer, uh, to, for tumors to either grow or not grow. Um, we know, we've known for quite a long time now, that cancer is not simply a collection of cells that are growing out of control. Cancer needs a, a, 
a, something to hold on to. It needs a home. And its home is the connective tissue, is the matrix. And depending on the, the stiffness of the matrix will influence how the cancer grows. And in, rever in, in, in reverse, the cancer will influence the stiffness of the matrix. So we're going to hear a lot about that this afternoon. You're going to see how important this is for cancer biology. The question, though, is how does this influence this? And we don't know too much about that, but we're beginning to learn a little bit about it. And this is going to be very important to understand how does, how does moving the body, how does an application of an external force to the body via a manual treatment or a movement-based treatment influence the connective tissue? And how, what repercussions may that have on cancer biology? So as you can see that these two arrows kind of converge up until the same place. They both converge on healing of tissues, on prevention, on helping the person get to a healthier place, both to recover from cancer after and to help people come uh, back to health after having received a very taxing and difficult treatment but also how to uh, prevent a recurrence or prevent cancer in the first place. How do you keep the tissues of the body as healthy as possible? Uh, and what is the role of uh, movement, exercise, and, and, um, and, and integrative medicine in this? So it's going to be a very interesting day. Uh, I hope that um, you uh, kind of follow along, even if some of these talks are a little bit outside of your comfort zone. I, uh, I, I just, uh, I would hope that by the end of the day, you will really be kind of uh, familiar with kind the, 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 how, how this, these whole concepts can actually hang together. So um, we're, at the end of the day, we're going to have a panel discussion with all of the speakers. And uh, we're really looking forward to everybody's input as to how you feel that this day has uh, expanded your thinking in these areas.